Hello everyone, my name is Harish Garg. Welcome to Data Visualization in Python by Examples by Pact Publishing. I'm a software developer, data scientist, and a data science instructor and author. I'm passionate about data science and data visualization. And I have more than 17 years of software industry experience in wide variety of roles. A picture is worth a thousand words is an old mantra that remains true. Visualizing data is the most effective way to inform, learn, and share useful information. In a world where we have global audience with different backgrounds and languages, a well-rendered bar graph or a scatter plot can make a statement without saying a word. Python has many tools to help create plots. This friendly video course will cut through the complexity and show you how to build amazing, beautiful, and interactive plots using Python and various Python modules. To follow along this course, you will need a Mac, Linux, or a Windows computer. To follow the code demos in the course, you should be familiar with Python. A basic knowledge of Python is sufficient to follow the code from this course. You should have at least basic understanding of command line on the computer you are using. And you should have Python 3.x installed on the computer. In section 1, we will learn how to get set up and get started with Matplotlib Python library. We'll then use Matplotlib to plot and analyze a few interesting data sets like effects of tornadoes on properties in most least affected states, impact of North Korean atomic tests on global stock markets. While visualizing these data sets, we will learn how to use Matplotlib to customize the plots and charts in Python. In section 2, we will learn about how to create interesting data visualizations with ggplot python library. We'll start with setting up and getting started with ggplot. We'll then use ggplot to visualize and analyze some interesting data sets like comparison of BRICS market economies and also prices of crude oil over the decades, etc. While visualizing these data sets, we will demonstrate various ggplot features. In section 3, we will learn about advanced techniques of data visualization using Seaborn data visualization library. We will learn how to get started with Seaborn. We'll explore various Seaborn features like controlling plot aesthetics, choosing the colors for the plots, draw different kinds of plots. We'll do this while visualizing data for the most unstable countries dataset and also the data from the box office movie performance. In section 4, we will introduce Plotly, the online visualization platform and their Python module. We will learn how to get started with Plotly. We will learn how to create different kinds of interactive visualizations using Plotly. We will demonstrate Plotly features on Apple iPhone sales data and the dataset for games consoles sales data. We will also learn how to create online visualization dashboards through Python and Plotly. This course is suitable for data scientists and data analysts looking to learn practical ways to visualize data using various Python modules. It is also suitable for anybody with some Python experience who wants to explore how to analyze and visualize data using Python. By the end of this course, you will visualize data using Python and a Jupyter Notebook. You will have learned about various Python visualization modules like Matplotlib, Seaborn, ggplot, and Plotly. You will have learned about various kinds of plot and you will have learned to make a call on what is the best module for you to use for your data visualization work. I hope that you enjoy this course. With the basics out of the way, we can jump right in and get started with our first section.